This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Leo for the month of August 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next month? Eight of Swords. Ooh, the Devil. And the Six of Cups? There's someone from your past here. Whoever this person is, it's like they're, they're trying to deny this connection with you. But the Six of Cups is a twin flame connection. It, it's, it's that sort of connection that comes in life after life. So perhaps you, you already know you have strong feelings for them. They've been repressing these feelings, repressing communication. However, with this devil in the middle, it's like the temptation is becoming too strong. Let's clarify. Let's clarify who this person is, first of all. Who is this Eight of Swords? Seven of Cups could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ace of Swords. They're trying not to see the, the possibilities, but there, there's a new possibility opening up, and it's because of some epiphany that they have. It's making them want you. Hmm. What makes the... <laughs> Let's get to the random love generated questions. The first one, what makes the love interest question this connection? Like they're trying to not think about you. What makes them question this connection? Death card. Three of Cups. And the chariot. You have been moving with so much conviction towards them. It's like you know that this person is your is your person. You've been trying to show off. It's like you were you were trying to find something that you both share in common to show off to them. This death energy. They may have tried to put an end to this. Let's clarify this death. For them, Queen of Cups, for you, Consideration. It's almost like they're trying to be so logical about this connection. And logically, it just, it didn't make sense to them for whatever reason. But they feel something for you too that they can't explain away. However you've been showing off to them has made them reconsider this ending. So it's, it's like, logically, this connection shouldn't work. But your persistence, your conviction that it should, has really, it's got to them somehow. It's made them reconsider. What are the love interest current feelings towards you right now as you're watching this video? 
Page of Cups. King of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. It's like you've done everything you could do. You put in a lot of effort here. Very selfless love that you were showing this person. It's like you showed your perfect side to them. This, this is like a pleasant surprise for them at this moment. They're taking everything into account here. It's like your hard work is paying off. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. These are all major court cards and all in cups. This person is feeling love for you as you're watching this. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. All this effort you've been putting into it. For you? You're getting recognition. There, the, this is a victory. This effort you put in is a victory for you at this moment. It's like you completed what you needed to do already. For them? Vanity. Interesting. You were really showing off. We saw the Three of Cups. It's like they know that you were showing off to them. You may be getting some recognition at this time as well, apart from them, because they're seeing it as, as vanity, selfless love and vanity. I've never seen that together. Perhaps they're seeing your beauty. It's interesting. It is a pleasant surprise. We see a lot of cups. There is a victory here for you for the work you've done. Perhaps you're, you're feeling that it was all kind of in vain. You're not, you, you don't know what this person is feeling. Interesting. What do you need to watch out for at this time, in this next month? Page of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. This person is seeing a higher purpose with you. Perfection. What is going on? Like they've been trying not to, but it, it's like they're seeing it. They want to come and join you in something that you're doing. It's like they want to step into this higher system of beliefs with you. To learn from one another. Let's clarify this three of pentacles here. Like they see you as this long-term investment. I don't feel like... There's anything you need to watch out for apart from this person taking notice. I wonder if you're going to be made aware of that somehow. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles for you. The High Priestess. You're going to feel this intuitively. For them, 
spiritually, you're going to feel that all of a sudden it's like, it's like you have this feeling in your heart that this feeling of being complete. I just got shivers. That's when, when you feel this, that's when this person realizes that you are their destiny, that you are their higher purpose, that they, they want to invest in, in the future, in joining you, in collaborating with you. You're going to feel that. <laughs> Who will be taking the next action towards whom? So who will be taking the next action towards who? Eight of Wands? The Lovers. And the Ten of Swords. Your logical mind will try to tell you that this is over. That you've done everything you could. You're out of ideas. And that's when they come in. Your heart will know that this is your person. But your mind will, 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 will be telling you that, that, you know, there's no indication. And all of a sudden, this action comes in. This lover's. They're coming towards you, and this could be a huge surprise. All of a sudden, you're, you're in this connection. It's what you've wanted. But it's going to be them coming towards you. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords. For you, yeah, you're going to be alone. Like part of you is, is going to still be believing that part of you of, of, you know, your heart is going to be like, this wish is out there. It's still real. But you're you're going to be alone for them. It's like your mind will be telling you that, that it's over. But deep down, you, you know that it's not. They're coming towards you. Don't let your mind trick you. <laughs> In the extended, we'll look into what are the false beliefs the love interest need to let go of? They were... They, they were... <laughs> trying not to see this connection. How does the love interest view you? Oh, wait. <laughs> what are they planning for the future with you? What is a message for your highest good? And we'll ask, how will the next love offer be accepted? It's pretty clear, but we'll ask anyway. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.